Have you ever had that feeling when you need to create something, when you're trying to write something, maybe when you're trying to build an outline for a presentation, that you just don't know where to begin? That's called blank page syndrome. You're just sitting there looking at a blank screen. How can I start? ChatGPT is a great partner in this way to be able to work with ChatGPT to start with something and refine it using ChatGPT as this kind of partner, this back and forth partner. So that's what I'm going to teach you in this video. We're going to go through step by step how you can use ChatGPT to create an outline for a presentation. You could use the same process to create an outline for something you're writing, for a video, for whatever. Then we're going to look at how you can turn that outline into slides also using AI. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to support the channel. And now let's get into the video. If you've seen my presentations course, you will have learned about how to make outlines when you're trying to build a presentation in English. Check out that course, five hours of how to give great presentations. That's uh, in, the, in the links in the description. It's on sale, check that out. But if you want to build an outline, you don't always have to start from scratch. You can use a lot of tools. And so I've been looking at how you can use ChatGPT to build a really good, compelling outline for a presentation, for a video, for a talk, for whatever, right? So what I've done is I've, I've built a prompt that is going to allow me to very quickly create a presentation, including slides. So once I get my outline, then I'm going to give my outline to another AI platform called Tome. And then Tome is going to build my slides for me. At least we're going to try it and see how it works. Okay. So, so here's the, I'm going to hop over here to GPT-4. And I'm not going to read the whole prompt out here, but I will provide it in the, uh, in the comments or no, in the description. But basically I want, now there are a couple important elements here. I want a bullet point outline, very important. Now I want to say what the topic is, but if you just say, give me a bullet point outline about this topic, it's going to decide. ChatGPT is good at just making stuff up. So it's going to decide what that content is, but it doesn't know what content I want to talk about. You have to be the, the, the engineer of your own ideas, right? So give that, provide that, use bullet points and regular numbers. This is one I constantly struggle with with ChatGPT, I don't like to use Roman numerals for my outlines. I hate it. Sometimes I get it. So it's a constant battle. Anyway, don't use Roman numerals. I want to include the steps of writing a basic description as the initial prompt, including adding important details that I want to include in the outline. I want to include the steps of writing a basic what is this description? Oh, I think I added the, I used the wrong word here of using a basic, yeah, basic description. Now that's what I want to say. That's right. That this, what I'm doing, this is, it's getting very meta because my, my outline that I'm asking ChatGPT to create is about how to do what I'm doing, which is asking ChatGPT to create an outline. So it's very meta. It's, it's like uh, looking into an infinite mirror because I'm asking it to create the thing that I'm actually doing right now, which is what I did before to create what I'm saying right now, which is now what I'm asking it to do. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, this is right. So, so as the initial prompt, including adding important details that I want to include in the outline, refining the outline by asking GTP, GPT to make revisions using words like include, simplify, remove, adding specific examples. This is where you put in the content that you want to be in your outline exactly, okay? Adding specific examples uh, manually to make it pop and then getting a final version that I can use to present or build slides. Note that this is a back and forth process then I want to talk about the outline 
uh, talk about how the outline can be turned into slides using tome.app. Uh, so, so I'm giving it instructions to make an outline for me about the topic of how to make an outline to make a presentation about how to make an outline. Blah, blah, blah. Why did I choose this? This is insane. All right, let's see what we get with this. And we need to be ready to use include, remove, simplify. Oops. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Yoink. Uh, we got Roman numerals. That's fine. Let's, let's see the quality though. Introduction, importance of uh, outlines for presentations, GPT as a tool for creating outlines. Start with an initial prompt, add important details to include, uh, define the goal of the presentation, then refine the outline with ChatGPT, use words like include, simplify, remove, request revisions from ChatGPT, iterate until satisfied with the outline, adding specific examples manually, enhance outline with concrete examples, make the presentation more engaging, re uh, relate examples uh, to the main points. Final version, Roman numeral five, review the outline for clarity and coherence, ensure all important points are covered, use the outline as a guide for the presentation. So now I have an outline, and this is by the way, basically the same outline that I got before I did what I'm doing right now that I followed to do what I'm doing right now. Because what did we do? I started with telling you what? I started with telling you that uh, if you want to create an outline using ChatGPT, you need to start with your initial prompt and you need to add important details and you need to say what your goal is. And I said that you need to use these words to make it better, improve it, right, and get variations. And then I said that you need to uh, enhance that outline by making sure it's accurate and make it as engaging as possible on your own, right? Make, make variations. So yeah, pretty close, pretty close. Now, let's say we wanna use this. I'm just curious, by the way, can I get this without Roman numerals? Remove the Roman numerals. Let's see if we can get it. I just hate Roman numerals so much. There's nothing wrong with them, actually. There we go, there we go. Introduction, importance of outlines for presentations. Write a basic description. Refine the outline with ChatGPT. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm refining the outline, refining it by asking it to remove Roman numerals, adding specific examples. I'm gonna skip four because we're just doing this as a sort of walkthrough. So skipping that, getting to a final version, reviewing it for clarity and coherence, ensuring all points are covered, and using the outline uh, for the use the outline as a guide for the presentation. I would say this looks pretty accurate. Don't organize content into individual slides. Uh, customize the design and layout. Yep, we're going to do that. And then in conclusion, I will. This is basically predicting the future here. So this is why did I choose this topic? I, I, I'm I'm confusing myself with my own topic because I chose a topic about the topic that I'm talking about. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy all of this. This is our this is our outline, right? We've got it. We've got a solid we've got a solid outline. Now what we want to do is head over to Tome. So Tome is an app to generate AI out uh, AI slides. So we've got an outline. Now I'm assuming you're practicing and revising until you get to a final version. Then you come over here and say, um, please build me, oops, build me a slide deck based on the following outline. And then I paste it in. And let's see what we get. What I want to see is that it creates different slides for each section and it creates images as well, right? So it's it's looking at the document. It looks like it's working. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Introduction, okay, there's a good outline. Importance of outlines for presentations. It's not enough detail. GPT is a tool for outlines, so it's giving some but 
let's try again. Let's try again. I wasn't, I'm not quite happy with that, right? Uh, oh, is it possibly because what I pasted is, is, is way off? Uh, that's possible. All right, let's, let's make sure we're copying the correct thing here. Let's maybe it's just the formatting here. Let's let's copy our original one, the the old Roman numerals one. Let's see if this one works. Here we go. So grab the Roman numerals one. Build me a slide deck based on the following outline. Okay, now this looks more this looks more organized, and that one looked like a disaster. So let's let's now let's start over. over. Uh, okay, balance is getting low. Okay, great. Generate it anyway. Let's see what we get. All right. This is looking a lot better. Okay, so it's giving me the overall structure. Introduction. Importance of outlines for presentations. Writing basic details. Refining the outline with ChatGPT. Adding specific examples manually. Getting a final version. Turning the outline into slides with Tome. So it's giving me all the points. And now what I would just need to do is go through and add images uh, to these slides, maybe change the style a little bit, which is which point here, which is this point, organize content into individual slides. We've done that, customize the design and layout of slides. So that's what we would need to then do next and then add visuals. Now, Tome actually can do visuals from uh, Dolly, uh, so, but you can add for example, I want to add uh, an image using Dolly. And I want to say, uh, let's see, an artist standing in front of a large computer screen designing slides. And let's generate so we can get an image. Oh, it's not giving it to me because I'm low on credits. Oh, you turkeys. Maybe it is. Come on. Let me have one. Give me one for free, please. Okay, let's see. I like, uh, yeah, I kind of like that one. All right. Now I probably would make this text a little bit bigger. Might, uh, I might make it a little larger. I might do that as a subheading. Just a bit, a bit bigger, but that looks pretty good actually. Maybe change the size of this. Maybe make that a little bigger. There we go. Perfect. So I would just go through and do that individually. And again, it can generate them from the start, but um, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good tool for making presentations as a starting point. And then you can uh, really work with it a lot and change the style and edit as you need. Okay. So. Now let's go to the final point of our outline because that's that's what I need to say. This is very meta. I think if you're making presentations, the benefit of doing it like this is that you have a really good partner to bounce your ideas off. Uh, and so if you have some ideas and you just give a basic description of what you want, like I did in my original prompt, you can get something back. And then if things are not accurate or not as you want them, the examples are not right, you then can give feedback as this back and forth process. Actually, I want a, a different analogy that I can use for this point that I'm making. Uh, I want you to remove the Roman numerals, for example. All of that stuff is this back and forth process. Having that partner to go back and forth makes things, I think, faster because you don't have the blank page syndrome where you're sitting there looking at a blank screen. You have something to work with. You have some clay to mold, right? And then having it be generated into slides is the same thing where I have something now to play with. I have a basic structure. I have some slides I can work with. I can build from here. And again, I'm not starting with a blank screen. It's that blank screen thing that's often difficult to overcome when you're creating stuff. And if you've been held back in the process of writing presentations, creating presentations, try starting this way. Try starting with a basic prompt asking for the outline. And if you get that outline and start working with it, you'll find it's much easier to sort of get some momentum going and get some, I think, really good ideas about how to structure your ideas naturally. So if you try this, let me know how it goes. Again, it's kind of a back and forth process. It's, it can be a little messy. 
as you've seen, you know, it's it's this process of back and forth dialogue with this brain that is emerging into the culture. And I think it's fascinating, but I would be curious to see how you use it and if you have any suggestions based on your experience. Feel free to share those in the comments if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and also get a free course, Natural English Conversations in the links in the description and get my presentations course. Learn all about giving presentations in English. It's over five hours of content. That is also in the links in the description. <music>